A new sort of citizen activism has contributor David Sedaris all fired up. Citizen activism, so you mean something like civil disobedience. During this difficult time, when so many Americans are looking for work, I'd like to introduce an idea for something I'm calling the citizen's dismissal. It's like a citizen's arrest, but instead of detaining someone, you get to fire them. So corrupt politicians, police, and other blood-sucking parasites? Take this lifeguard at a YMCA I went to. A lifeguard? She must have done something real awful to fire her. What did she do? I bought a guest pass so that I could swim laps, and ten minutes after I'd started, the young woman blew her whistle, calling, You all have to leave now. Okay, the pool may have been closing. Maybe she was waiting for a co-worker to take her next shift. You realize it's a possible danger to not have a lifeguard around, so maybe she said, Guys, you have to get out of the pool until my co-worker can take the next shift. Maybe this was all a precaution. Who knows? How come, I asked. I have to go to my parents' house, she said. I thought I hadn't heard her correctly. I'm going there to do some laundry, she told me. Okay, if that's true, why should you, not her boss, fire her? You're not an investor or management. You're a customer. You're supposed to report them to management and have them take care of it. Do you not know what a customer complaint is? And then I'm going home. Oh, you're going home all right, I wanted to say, because you are fired. Bro, it was a swim pass. What power fantasy is this? It seems like you have a hard-on for telling people what to do. Well, given your status, I should have assumed that. I'd have liked to do the same to a salesperson who worked at a store where my sister and I bought a number of very expensive cups and saucers. The woman rang them up, and after I paid, she stood there blinking. I'm afraid I haven't got anything to put them in, she said. No bubble wrap or bags. So we should what, just carry the cups and saucers in our hands, my sister asked. Yeah, there isn't any bags or paper to put them in. What do you want her to do, pull them out of a hat? You could have easily asked her nicely, are there any in the back? Or could a worker help bring them out? Our hands are quite full. But no, you went automatically to, I want to fire her. These types of people are the type of people to shoot a McDonald's employee over a missing fry. The response is improportional to the problem. Well, they're yours, the woman said. You bought them. Yeah, it is. Now carry them out to your car, you lazy fuck. Do you have a purse, I wanted to ask? If so, you need to get it and go home. My sister and I are firing you. If I was her boss, I'd tell you to get fucked and to leave my property. Now, do you have a purse? I'm not suggesting that we go crazy with this. We all have our off days. Certain people, though, could easily be replaced by go-getters who'd say, I've got an idea. Let's wrap your pottery in my socks and underwear. Is that an attempt at a joke? No, they shouldn't have to bend over backwards to please you. Your idea is forcing people to do things under the pain of expulsion. You just took the idea of the customer is always right and extrapolated it to the point where we're not even in the fucking stratosphere. We're in interstellar space now. Or you could use your own if you have a thing against germs. That's the kind of person I want to deal with. Someone with solutions. My solution is my boot up your ass if you refuse to leave my property. Or the policeman's boot up your ass. At this point, I wouldn't mind either. The sort who'd say, if I keep the pool open, could I maybe do my laundry at your house? As customers, though, we need to keep our end of the bargain. Of course you can do your laundry at my place, we'll say. I just need to throw in some socks and panties. I promise to return to someone who, like you, is really good at her job. That is really creepy. So much I can't... I can't even even right now. So you want to people to be your literal slave. You want to whip who you see as unworthy and command the worthy. Here's a better idea. Boycott the shop. Or, or just a suggestion, make a complaint to the management like a normal person. 
That was creepy, unnerving, unsettling, and a million words for get me the fuck out of here. If you liked the video, please subscribe, like, and share it around. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend.